Thank you. Also, don't be the big thing. So my task today is to give an inspiration, to give an inspiration, inspirational talk, and I don't want it to be too formal. I just want to share with you my journey. As most of you here already know me, I'm competitive, active and active academics, extracurricular activities, except for sports, ever since I could remember. But an incident happened that caused me to leave the school, which I just choose not to elaborate more. So let me take you to the moment and I left Utoka National High School. I attended my second year high school in Mutia and stayed at my uncle's house for a year. But things didn't work out as I expected. So my parents had to pull me out from there and sent me to Anderson Fashion College to finish the rest of my high school days. <laughs> Though we were struggling, I had to be strong. I felt stranger in that school and stayed away from spotlight. In other words, I didn't make it to place a rank that I used to have in my previous schools. Maybe because the adjustment was so drastic, but I graduated in 1994, the same year as you. High school graduation was just the beginning of my journey, and most of us, of course, here. I started my college in Andrews with Fashion College, not my dream school, but my goal was to finish a degree to get out of poverty. I had to join the college band not because I love to play instrument, but to avail of free tuition fees. I joined the band with nothing but courage. I couldn't even read a single note, but I had to act like I am. After two years, I had to transfer to St. Vincent's College since I was kicked out from the band. I finished my Bachelor of Science in Accountancy degree with perfect attendance in Montreal's office to get promissory notes. Life was really tough then, but I had to stay strong. I had to tell myself no one can stop to chase my dreams. I had to work part time to sustain my studies, but in spite of the trials and tribulations, I was able to finish my bachelor's degree on time. After earning my degree, my first job was at the office of the governor's executive assistant. I worked for three months and realized the job was not for me. After that, I went to Manila to apply jobs. And again, I had nothing with me but courage. With the help of my brothers and sisters in Alpha and Omega, I was able to beat applicants from different prestigious schools. Being the eldest, I took all the responsibilities from my parents to send my siblings to schools. Even though I was working, I never stopped dreaming. With my work experience, I, by my references, I was able to secure a second job in the multinational pharmaceutical industry. Even then, I still keep on dreaming. So in 2003, I landed in New York City, the city that never sleeps, as they say. USA, known to be the land of milk and honey. Again, with nothing in me but courage and opportunity. I was able to adjust in a span of two years. I got married, but got divorced after three years and had to rebuild myself. I struggled, but giving up was not part of my vocabulary, even up to, up to now. Being far from family, facing all the trials which I cannot even share what I'm going through, because I know it will just get me worried. And I faced them all by myself. Instead of crying in one corner and felt sorry for myself, I had to get up and pursue my master's degree. I also faced discrimination, but it didn't bother me at all. After earning my master's degree, I remarried, and together with my husband, we were pushing each other up and made me who I am today. Now, I am running my own consulting firm, and at the same time, I'm the vice president of a biopharmaceutical company for Southeast Asia, 
and the CEO of our own medical spa. Like they say, success cannot be measured with material things you have acquired, but it's how many hurdles you overcome. Medals, awards, recognition doesn't guarantee success. Success, after all, is obtained from how we are able to bring out the best in other people. After some times, I was making more money than what I needed. I remember the many people who helped me become what I am now. And you're part of this. You're part of who I am. And I told myself, it's time to pay back the young family. I sent, some, I sent some students to schools to finish college. I adopted countless classrooms already. It's just my way of paying back because I know I was once experienced how it feels to have nothing. So here is my message for you, my dear classmates and batchmates. Remember that wherever I am, wherever life brings me, I carry the name of Botonga National High School and I'm proud of where I am from. To our teachers, I hope somehow we made you proud. Butunga National High School not only gave us great teachers and mentors, but it also gave us a home, a place where we could feel comfortable, a place that did its best to point us in the right direction on our journey to adulthood. I remember all of it. I bring my high school experiences with me every day. I hope you do too. Thank you.